here we are at this fictitious community organization site. And one of the drop down items in the menu has a mega menu where I have put four containers. Each one of the containers has a background image and a title. The title has a drop shadow on it. So no matter what type of background is there, it kind of pops off the page a little bit so that you can read the text. And each one of these containers is a link to a page. Notice that there is transparency around the entire drop down of this mega menu. Uh, that's a little tricky, but let's get to it. In my theme builder, I have my default header that the, the one that you saw, and then I've got an extra header. And basically I just copied and pasted the, the menu is what we're going to build. You drop in the mega menu here. Now the mega menu has to be turned on in the Elementor settings. We've got, this is the mega menu. I wish they'd rename it to mega menu, but it is true. A mega menu doesn't have to be a mega menu. It can be just a regular WordPress menu as well, meaning nothing drops down. There's nothing fancy about it. The WordPress menu is the one that we've used for such a long time. The, the menu, mega menu, um, is this icon here. So let's go through the settings in Elementor to set it up so that you can get your mega menu working. All right, at my dashboard where I've got the uh, WordPress menu, I'm going to go into Elementor and settings. And we've got features. And there are two things, three things, three things we need to have turned on. Number one, we need Flexbox container on, active, and a green dot. The next item we need is nested elements with a dot, green dot, meaning it's active. And the third one we need is menu, active. So when you make these changes and change something from inactive or default to active, you have to go down to the bottom of the page and hit save changes to make those changes. So let's get back to building that mega menu. With those settings turned on, let's start creating our mega menu. So I have dropped a mega menu in this area here, and I have already labeled uh, the menu items home, about, and focus areas. With focus areas, I have turned the drop down content to on. And when you turn the drop down content on, you get a container that is waiting for structure. And so I'll just go ahead and I know that I have four items. So I'm going to choose the four column structure here. And I'm not going to go through each one of those items and style them with the background image and the text and everything. I'm going to go through one and then I'm just going to repeat it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the first container and I want you to come over here to the navigator and you'll see that the menu, that's the container. This is the actual menu widget. And then we've got our items that are numbered one, two and three. And I only have one, two, three items in the menu. But if you notice item number three has four containers underneath it. So item number three is containing everything, all of the four items in our item number three. Just want you to, to be aware of that because when we go back and style item number three, you'll know why we're styling number three. I mean, I can come in here and change this to focus areas. No problem. And, and you know, that's kind of help us in the future because it's focus areas that we're going to have to style later on. But first we're going to put the content inside there. We're going to right click and edit the container. We're going to go to style. 
We're going to go to the background image and we're going to choose the image, which is education. All right, so we've got our image in there. I'm going to drag and drop a title in there. And it's too big and it's the wrong color. So I'm just going to put education and I'll go to style and I will change the text color to white. And I will change the topography to a rem value of 1.3 or 2. Let's go 2. Okay, that's good. And so I need to style and push the title away from the edges. So I'm going to go to the container and go to advanced. And I'm going to add 10 pixels of padding. And I'll go back to the heading. And I will go to the typography. I'm going to give it a little bit more weight, semi-bold. And I'm going to go back to the style and change the headings. Drop shadow, text shadow here. I'm going to give it a blur of 3. And I'm going to change the opacity to make it opaque. Not transparent, but opaque. So that you can see the shadow pop out a little bit. Uh, so you can read the words even if the image in the background has a white background. All right. So I'm going to click here, and I'm just going to update those changes for right now. And we need to fix the image because not all of the image is inside of that container. So I'm going to go to the container. I'm going to edit the container. I'll go back to the background. And I'm going to change the position to center, center. I want this focal point to be the center of the image. And it's still too big. It's not fitting. So the display size needs to be cover. So now we can see all of the image. It's a little squashed, a little too short for me. So I'm going to go back to the uh, layout of the container. And I'm going to give it a min height. And I'm just going to start pushing it up. And I'm going to say that, um, let's so we can see the teacher's head. I'm going to say 150 pixels. Good round number. All right. Now I want to add the border around this container. So I'm going to go back to style. I'll go to border. And I'm going to say the border type is solid. The width is going to be 8. And the color is going to be an off-white light color light green. So there it is. Now we need to go and add our box shadow. And it's a little harsh. So what I like to do is the blur is fine. I'm going to come here and it's it states that it's 0.5. That's kind of like the default setting for uh, the drop shadow or the box shadow. I like to put it to 0.2. It shows it just enough, but it's not really harsh. So there's point 0.2. And I'll click on that, and I'll click on this, and I'm going to just update my settings. All right. Now we need to make this container clickable. We need to make the entire container a link. A lot of people miss this feature, but I'm going to make sure that I'm editing the container I'm going to go back to the Layout tab, and I'm going to go back down here to Additional Options. And in the Additional Options, there's an HTML tag associated with this container. It says Default, but I want to change it. And one of our options is a link. This is the only way this works. Sure, you can use another widget, but this is how I'm going to make it work. I'm going to click Link, and it says, Okay, so it says, don't add links to elements nested in this container. It will break the layout. Good to know. So I'm going to add a page. So I'm just going to say, actually, we're going to the test page because that's where I made this new extra header connected to. So there's the page that's going to go to. So you choose your link, and I'm going to hit update. All right. And I'm going to duplicate each one of these. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. 
And then I'll just come in here and delete these extras. And there we go. So we've got all four in there. They're not labeled and they don't have the right image, but you get where we're going. I could sit here all day and do this. Um, and so we're done. So let's go take a look at it. We're going to update the page and we're going to go to that test page and I'm going to hit refresh. It's refreshed and here is our menu. Now your menu probably won't have a transparent background. In fact, I know it won't. I got ahead of myself in this tutorial. Uh, so here's where I'm going to show you how to make it transparent. So let's go back to the heading. And as I said, we've got our focus areas. That is the container holding all four of the other containers. So if we go to focus areas, that is the focus areas. And you see that it's highlighted this container that holds the other four. If we go to the advanced, no, I always miss it. It's style and the background right here. We are changing the background of the focus areas container that contains the education and the four items. So right here, um, it doesn't matter what color you pick. You can pick any color. I'll just choose a black color so that you can see it. But what I'm doing is I'm specifically changing the opacity. I don't want it opaque. I want it transparent. So there's the transparency bar right there. And I'll click and I'll save the changes. And there is our, I'm going to hit refresh one more time. And if I hover over focus areas, we can go to education. Actually, it's not education. I did the test page, so it just re reloads itself. So that is how we get a mega menu with focus areas, images, and titles to go to specific pages.